Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are live. Get up and get that dragon out of your mouth. <laughs> and get ready for a brand new day. You have something special. You have greatness within you. And each day is a new opportunity, not just to get up and go through the motions, but to truly live, to truly live an inspiring life, to truly live an empowered life, to live what um, Mr. Warren calls a purpose-driven life. And if you're living a purpose-driven life, put a big Kool-Aid smile on your face and put the number one in your message box. We're going to drop some words of wisdom. I got my first family and motivation t-shirt in the house. I'm excited. Hopefully, you'll have an opportunity to win some of those. Uh oh, did I have sleep on my eye? Y'all let me do this with sleep on my eye. Anyway, so uh, listen, listen. I don't know about you, but 2019 has been a phenomenal year for, for me, for my family, for my team. And each year, uh, <laughs> each year, each, each, each year always, um, unleashes new possibilities that one could not have foreseen in the years previous. And I just want you to know that right now we're in a time where we, in order to change our lives, we have to change the story that we believe about ourselves, okay? Everyone knows that stories are powerful. And each and every one of us, we've inherited a body, we've inherited a name, but also as life goes on and as time proceeds, eventually we take on a story. And some of us determine our own story and others of us, we accept the stories that other people give us. So in terms of the story that you think about yourself and the story that you feel about your business, about your family, the story that you've told yourself about the possibilities, I just want you today start to rewrite the story. Give yourself a new once upon a time because the stories that you believe about yourself kind of dictates the behaviors that you have. And, and, and for me, I just... Last year, I accepted a story that anything that I did was not enough. Last year, I accepted the story that I had to, to sit back on my dreams and goals. Last year, I accepted a story that that maybe I was everything that I was reaching for was just out of reach and unrealistic. And last year, I this year, I changed my story and my results started to change. My life it started to have momentum again. And I just want you to understand as this most powerful force in life is when you have momentum behind an idea, behind a dream and behind a goal. So whatever you're working on, no matter what your goals and dreams are, I want you to know that there's greatness in you. I want you to know that you are special. I want you to know that every idea that you were given, you were given for a reason, that you've got the intelligence, the competence, the relationships, the willpower to bring forth your mission. I want you to know that there is an unstoppable force within you that cannot be denied once you make up your mind that you're going to get it done. This is the season to get it done. This is not the season to make excuses. This is not the season to make complaints. This is not the season to talk about all the people that hurt you in the past. This is the season to get it done. Put hashtag get it done in your message box. Like and share this post. If if you want to talk about what it means to get it done, if you're ready to get it done, you want to get your business done, get your product done, get your book done, get your world tour done, you want to get your nonprofit done, you want to get your product into the marketplace, hashtag get it done, get it done, you want to get your following up, then just get it done. One of the goals I had this year was to get my Instagram up to a minimum of 10,000 followers before 2020. Well, I got it 
done with the team of people. We got it done. We're at 12,000 followers now. I want you to put one thing in your message box that you had planned for this year and you got it done. Because if you don't get it done, then you won't get it, baby. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hashtag get it done. Hashtag get it done. Get your movement done. Get your photos done. Get your website done. Get your YouTube done. Get your Instagram done. Get your social media done. Get your bio done. Get your press release done. Get your automation systems done. Get your app done. Yes, yes, yes. Get it done. Get it done. Get your invention done. Get your children's book done. Get it done. Get it done. When are you going to get it done? When are you going to get it done? Get it done right now. This is the time. This is the season. What season is it? It's get it done season. Some people say, oh, I'll get it done one day. I'll get it done when I've got all the money to get it done. No, no, no. I'll get it done when I've got all the help to get it done. No, 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 no. I'll get it done when everybody believes that I can get it done. No, 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 no. I'll get it done when when the weather's right outside and it's not raining and no one's challenging me and no one's asking. Asking me difficult questions. No, 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 no. Get it done now. Hashtag get it done. It's your time. This is the Prince of Greatness. Hope this message has some power for you. Make sure you check out my website, lesbrownjr.com. Check out the Instagram, lesbrownjr. And remember these kind words by Maya Angelo. This changed the story of my life. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Thank you very much. Jump started my business again. 16 business partners. Boom. Dale Horton's getting it done. Thank you very much. Tiki Davis is getting it done. What up, Tiki? Okay. Gail Lambert getting it done. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing that. Getting it done. All right. Appreciate it. Isaac Chavez getting it done. Thank you so much for tuning in. Get it done. Here it is. Here it is. A lot of times, a lot of times we do things for others, but I want to share this Maya Angelou quote with you and then I'm out. We go in the Lego land today. Uh, the quote is by Maya Angelou and she said, I do not trust people who do not love themselves. Mm -hmm. See, getting it done is about loving yourself. Getting it done is about self-love. Give me some hearts for this. Give me some hearts right now. Throw some hearts up in there right now. Getting it done is about self-love. You get it done for your spirit. You get it done for your family. You get it done for your soul. You get it done so you can sleep at night like this. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. So getting it done is about loving yourself. Thank you. Thank you for those hearts. My angel said, I do not trust someone who claims that they love me, but does not love themselves. There's an old African proverb that says, be careful of the man. Ooh. Oh, I got to get this quote right. Hold on a second. Let me get this quote right. Let me see if I can just switch off in here and get this quote right. I got to get this quote right for the people. Hold on one second. Let me see. Hold on one second. Okay. We're back. All right. I do not trust people who do not love themselves and claim that I love you. This is what my Angelo said. I do not trust people who, who, who do not love themselves and claim that I love you. There's an old African proverb that says, there's an old African proverb that says, be careful when a naked man offers you a shirt. Woo! Goodness gracious. I do not trust someone who does not love themselves and says that I love you. There's an old African proverb that says, be careful when a naked man offers you a shirt. Goodness gracious. And some of you all are naked because you're trying to help other people get things done and you got other things that you need to get done yourself right now. Get it done. Hashtag get it done. Don't be that naked person offering somebody a shirt. Get it done. Hashtag get it done. You've got something special. You've got greatness in you. This is the Prince of Greatness. It's